you want to be a climate hero? Have you ever thought about how important the sun is for us? It warms us, helps plants grow. Actually, we couldn't live without it. But what happens if Earth gets too hot? And how can we help take care of our planet? Today, I will take you on a journey into the fascinating world of climate. Together, we'll discover what climate change means and learn how everyone, big and small, can help make a difference. So get ready. Together, we can help save the planet one little step at a time. Ready to become a climate hero? Let's get started. Climate change happens because the Earth is warming up. This is due to too much of something called CO2. CO2 is naturally found in the air. Every time we or animals breathe, we release a little CO2. Plants and trees love it and use it to grow. But when we drive cars, fly in airplanes, or use lots of electricity, we create too much CO2. Imagine CO2 as a blanket around the Earth. It needs to be just thick enough to keep the Earth warm. But if the blanket gets too thick, Earth gets too hot. In the United States, we feel the effects of climate change in various ways. Some areas experience stronger hurricanes and wildfires, while other places may face more intense droughts. Climate change is a big challenge that affects everyone, everywhere. That's why it's so important that we all stand together, across the whole world, to protect our planet. When we work together, we can make a much bigger difference. So, what can you do to help Earth? Here are some simple things you can do every day. Remember to turn off the light when you leave a room. It's an easy way to save energy, and when we use less energy, less CO2 is sent into the air. You can also ride a bike or walk when going somewhere. It's good for you, and it helps the environment because we don't produce as much CO2 as when we use a car. If you're going far, you can use the train or bus. Recycling is another fantastic way to help the planet. For example, your old clothes can be turned into new pillows or bags. Did you know that old plastic bottles can be turned into all sorts of things? Your soccer jersey might even be made partly from recycled bottles. Do you have any ideas for what used items could be turned into? Planting a tree is a great way to help the environment. Trees clean the air and absorb CO2, which warms the earth. Plus, it's a fun activity to do with your family. By eating more vegetables and less meat, you help reduce the amount of CO2 in the air. And who knows, you might find a new veggie dish you love. Did you know that we can get energy directly from nature? This is called green energy because it doesn't pollute as much. Green energy comes from sources like the wind and the sun. Wind turbines create electricity by using wind to spin their blades. And with solar panels, we capture the sun's rays and turn them into electricity to light and warm our homes. The great thing about green energy is that it reduces the amount of CO2 we release into the air. By using energy from wind and sun, we don't need to use coal and oil, which create a lot of pollution. This way, we can get the electricity we need without harming Earth as much. So every time we use green energy, we're helping to take good care of Earth. And that's pretty cool. In the end, it's important to remember that everyone can make a difference, even with small actions. By turning off lights, riding bikes, recycling, and eating veggies, we help Earth. When we all help just a little, we can protect our planet. Thanks for joining in to help protect our world. If you'd like to learn more with me, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.